So developing love for the others is your task here, your challenge here. Developing love, not attachment, just love. Love, nature of the love is appreciation. Nature of the attachment is a desire for me wanted something. I want it. So for me, by me, for me, all that, so that is becoming desire and attachment. Appreciation is a love. Appreciate as it is. When someone tells you, I love you as you are, this is great love. I love you as you are, but I wish you to change your hairstyle. Or you change your makeup. Or maybe you should have a little operation uh, or something. You know, when you get into that level, there's no pure love. There's no love. It's a desire and attachment. Attachment. So this is quite hard to make a distinction between the really true love and attachment. Very close, very close. So you know now, you know now, what you really wanted out of that person. Out of that person, if you want appreciating that person and doing, and then great. Allen Ginsberg used to say a poetry here by William Blake. Some fly comes, kisses and goes or something. Do you remember, Rochelle? Huh? What did you say? I can't do it justice. I'm sorry. I don't remember exactly. All right. Anyway, doesn't matter when you remember. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so... So that, that's really what it is. You need the appreciation. Pay appreciation. If you appreciate yesterday, Kishi Yishi Tabke taught, remember? Kishi Yishi Tabke quoted from the, the Bodhisattva Chaya Avatara. Between the Buddha and the people, there's no difference. Why people respect the Buddha, not people? People cannot develop compassion without people. People cannot develop love without people. So forget it, develop body mind. Body mind is developed on the basis of the people. So as you respect Buddha, you should respect people. Remember that? So these are the ways and how you improve your mental attitude. No, attitude. Attitude. So then develop love on the basis of love. When you love someone, you really want that someone be happy. You really don't want that someone to suffer. If you can remove by hand suffering, you're willing to remove it because you love the person. And that is compassion. General compassion. So when you're talking about the body mind, you're talking about the greater compassion equal to every beings, which is almost impossible in our mind right now. And that's why we need, we need equality 
equanimity. Because when we see the enemy, we see her. When we see friends, we see better. Even political drama, what we see today with the election time, and if you are Democrats, and when you see the Democrats, you like it, happy. And when you see the Republicans, you feel, Ugh. And then, vice versa, if you are Republican, you see the Republican guy, you see trade cross or, or whatever, the, or Trump, or, 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 or Bush, or although you see like it. You see Hillary, ah, problem, and uh, terrible, blah, 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 uh, all that, and all the liar, thief, whatever else, murderer, what else can you say? <laughs> all of them put together on that. And vice versa, other way around, other way around. So this is the why we, are you telling me time yet? Oh, no, thank you. Huh? Huh? Oh, you got it. Anyway, later. Yeah. Uh, later, now, now, not now. Thank you. Um, so, because there's no equality, and that's how we even we look into it. You know, so all this. So, so without equality, you can never get greater compassion, no way. And greater compassion is, you may think, why greater compassion is necessary? Because I have a compassion, I have a good big compassion, I feel for everybody that come cross with me. That's not enough. You really need greater Compassion, because this is the root of a body mind. Body mind is grown out of greater compassion. And if you don't have a greater compassion, you don't have a body mind. We call that body mind, which is Unlimited, unconditioned, ultimate love and the compassion. And that is body mind. So there are ways of developing body mind uh, within the usual teachings. There are seven stage of the development body mind or exchange stage of the development body mind or combination together 11 stage of the developing body mind whichever you follow it will guarantee the result if you don't follow Nothing happens. You can read about it, you can talk about it, but if you don't meditate, don't practice, nothing will happen. If you don't have body mind or greater compassion, which is the root of body mind, then no matter how much you keep busy doing, Thinking is a good spiritual practice. It will like chicken without a hat running around. Honestly. So you need a hat. That is this. So either of those seven or, or exchange. You can look into any uh, 
good Tibetan Buddhist teaching, Mahayana teaching, anywhere you can find everywhere. You can even, even my transcripts, if you look at there, there are seven stages of development mentioned everywhere else. Everywhere in Lamrim, everywhere in any normal little bit of talk here and there, or detail in the, in the, even in the Lamachava teachings, everywhere, even in the Pajrayana teachings, also you will find them. Then you have all the choice of exchange, which is Shanti Devas. Very, very wonderful way, not only Shanti Devas, but it is the Manjushiri, Shanti Deva, and all this, they do that. And that also valuable everywhere. I sh don't let me talk to you if I do talk to you that. It will, anyway, it is important, I should. But on the other hand, my theme is the five wisdom points. So now I'm not even reached there, not even begin yet. So, so that's the, uh, so if I talk too much, it won't be. Uh, so really, and all these wonderful logons, seven point mind training, add verses, and, um, and uh, Dharma Balas, Dharma, Dharma, uh, I don't remember. Anyway, Dharma, Dharma Rakshida. Dharma Rakshida has, has a wheel of a sharp weapon. And any one of those. But the seven point mind training is a very, very easy, convenient, and good. So basis on that, tra give training to your mind, training in compassion, training in love, and the develop body mind, which is absolutely the essential, fundamental basis of the Mahayana path. You will hear Body mind is gateway, doorway. Like we say, refuge is gateway, doorway to be Buddhist. Just like that, body mind is gateway, doorway to the Mahayana path. To tell you the truth, without the Mahayana path, no matter whatever you do, Zillion years you're going to take to get your result. So our only hope, honestly, is Mahayana and that of Vajrayana. So the reasons why we have to put efforts to develop love, to develop compassion, because of that reason.